Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever gotten frustrated with Figma's auto layout shifting things around when all you wanted was to place an object exactly where you want it, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to use absolute positioning in Figma. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to anchor any element wherever you like, without it messing up the rest of your design. Super useful when you need more control inside those auto layout frames. All right, let's dive right in. First, go ahead and open Figma on your computer. If you've never used it before, don't worry, it's pretty welcoming and everything we're doing today is beginner friendly. So once you're in Figma, make sure you've got your project or sample file open and ready. For this demo, I'm using a simple file with a couple of frames, nothing too complicated. Now here's the situation. Let's say you have a text box, it could say something like, this is not mine and you want to place it inside a frame called frame 1. Normally, if you just click and drag this text into frame 1, you're going to see something interesting happen. The arrangement of elements inside that frame will change. Instead of just dropping your new text wherever you want, everything else inside frame 1 might scoot around automatically to make room for the new element. That's Figma's auto layout doing its thing, keeping your design neat but sometimes making things trickier when you want custom placement. But what if you want to add something like a badge, a decorative icon, or a note, and you just want it to sit on top wherever you drop it without all the other content reacting? That's where absolute positioning comes in and it's a game changer for situations like this. Here, what you do, after you've dragged the text into frame 1 and noticed the arrangement shift, try dragging the text back out of the frame for a second just to get a fresh start. Now this time when you drag the text back in, keep an eye on the properties panel over on the right. You're looking for something labeled position. Under that you'll see a little checkbox that says ignore auto layout. You might have to expand the section to see it if it's hidden but it's there. Go ahead and click ignore auto layout. By doing this you're telling Figma, hey I want this specific element to sit absolutely wherever I put it inside the frame and I don't want the auto layout rules to apply. Once you do this, your text or object is now absolutely positioned. You can move it around freely within the frame, just like placing a sticker on a page. The rest of your layout won't get shuffled or rearranged, no matter where you move this element. If you're wondering why this matters, think about the times you want to add a watermark over an image, place a notification icon on top of a card, or highlight a specific spot without disturbing your careful auto layout. Absolute positioning is essential for those finishing touches. That's all there is to it. If you ever want to switch back and let the element behave normally, just uncheck Ignore Auto Layout. Alright, I hope this helped you get a better handle on controlling your designs in Figma. If you found this tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's another Figma trick you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy designing!